<laughs> do you ever deal with any bullism at all online? Yes. Let's talk about that. Yes. Let's go about that. Um, Them mofos. Let's go. I kind of, I'm like afraid to even talk about this because like, <sighs> so my longest like relationship, um, he's still one of my best friends, you know, um, so he was in a band and it's the first time I've ever dealt with cyberbullying. Um, it was really traumatic time in my early 20s. Mm -hmm. uh, they made like a Tumblr bashing me and it was just like, yeah. Wow, I, I they went harassed. the extra step. They said some really gnarly things like to me that I didn't know how to comprehend because I've never dated somebody in the line life before. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, one thing happened to another. I was being called names and it was just like I was in college still. So it was kind of like getting to me like, you know, mentally. Um, but like I had a great support system with my family, my boyfriend during that time, he had like my back, he like to call off his fans. It was just very like, um, I just, I can't, I couldn't, like I said, I couldn't comprehend where these girls are getting like these kind of mindsets to say right. these things. Like they're very awful, nasty right. things. And it's like, you've never met me before. And Why? it's crazy. Yeah. It's yep. like, you've never met yep. me before. Yep. And yet you're attacking me. Like I haven't even had a Twitter since then. Thank you so much for joining in. Welcome to the Trendy Husky Podcast. If you haven't subscribed, go and do so on our YouTube page, Instagram, and Facebook as well. As usual, in production, we got beautiful Ali. What up, girl? Hey, hey. All right. Right over here, you got your host, Yase. And today's guest, we got a fashion designer for you guys. Woo -woo. Yeah. Bauchi. What up, girl? What's up? All right. So, so here's the story. So every time I like prepare for someone, I get the question and stuff. And I saw the area code eight four seven, and I'm like, "Home girl is over here." All right, all right. Chi Town all day. It was day. like Chicago all day. It was like bears, bears. All she wants to talk about is bears, bears, no, bears. There's more to me. The that. hell happened to your bears last week? Oh, well, oh, hold on, hold on. Let me correct that. What the hell happened to our bears last week? Exactly. Time? I know. She's like, don't well, put me on the spot like, like that. Wait, hold don't up. Don't put me on the spot like that. Walked in and you're like, all right, everyone's from Chicago. So I'm like, yeah, I feel I feel home right now. Now it's my bears. OK, I see you. I see. What happened? What the hell? Uh, I Did have, you watch the game? Yeah, I watched the game and I it's, fell asleep, to be honest. It's bad. Oh, thank it was, you. It was so boring. By the way, I swear, I kid you not. So um, if you watch the show, me and my co-host, we always talk about sports twice a week. Yeah. We didn't watch this last one together, and I called them, and me and him and you had all the same question uh, answer. By third quarter, we were just done. Yeah, I, I switched to another game. I was over it. Yeah, uh, you fell asleep. He was like, <laughs> I, I got I, out of sleep. He's like, I never walked away from a Bears game. He did for the first time ever. Yeah, it's it just it was disgusting to watch. It was. It was just disappointing. Boring. It was so boring. I like literally by halftime, I was like, I don't even care if we like lose. To be honest, I was like, oh man, this is done. It was over. <laughs> yeah, everybody was. Wow, we were super hyped, and I kept telling <laughs> you, I was like, hey guys. Look who we beat. We, we look, we beat the Giants. Yeah. <laughs> we, you know what I mean? Like we, like we, we beat very bad teams. Like yeah. you need to chill. Yeah. You, the Lions. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, breed, breed. <laughs> like three and O oh is not really three and O. Oh, it's just True. three and O oh on We're paper. We're skinny by the t like, like our teeth on those wins. Oh it my God! It it was bad. And then. I mean, the Colts is an average team. Yeah. They got a new QB this year and Phil, Phil Rivers. And stuff. I don't know. It just, it's going to be interesting to see what the Bears end up doing this year. But oh, totally. Them cheese heads, they're looking good. I can't. I know. I can't. But I'm just I can't. It's like engraved in our blood. I'm we just, oh, yeah, like, of course. All this rivalry. We talk about like the Green Bay Packers. I'm like, oh. yeah. <gasps> White Sox versus Cubs, you know what I mean? You got the Green Bay versus Bears. Like, of course, these are the rivalries that we like. Yeah. But how could you hate on Aaron Rodgers? I I can't. I can't. <laughs> Mostly as a girl. I, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm like, when I hear Aaron Rodgers, I like fringe. Yeah. All right? And I'm not going to lie. In a I good way or a bad way? In a bad way. <laughs> okay. Just okay. because I'm just like, I can't deal He's with it. He's too him. good. 
I I actually like you know honored Brett Favre back in the day. I don't like huh. Green Bay, and like, but I love Brett Favre for some reason. I you think like him just, better than Aaron. Yes, I think it's his personality. I just like think as like a whole general kind. Like I can see like the backstory. I just don't like cocky people. I just can't do okay, it. So you think he's cocky? Yes. That's, that's, <laughs> I, I could see that. I he, could see the game that. Yesterday he just kept smiling in every play, and it was just like because oh he's like God. I'm the shit. Exactly. He's like I'm the exactly. shit people exactly. right over here. The shit right. Exactly. I can't. Dude, I, I don't know. I, <laughs> he's got that face. He just want to hug all. And I'm, I'm a straight he dude, but hug. it's just like, he's, yes, yes, exactly. He wants. He's like, he wants to hug. I don't want any part of that hug. I'm like, nope. <laughs> How has work been for you? Um, it's definitely been challenging right now with like this crazy COVID? nonsense. Yeah, mm-hmm. the pandemic. Everything was going on. Um, but I was like designing for Revolve for the longest time, you know, and like that like companies based off of like influencers, yep. you know, like we designed for people who travel all the world. And then all of a sudden, like, you know, the lockdown happened, no mm-hmm. one's traveling, no one's buying anything anymore. Yep. And then a bunch of layoffs happen. It's just like a really like, you know, unfortunate events. You so know explain I mean? to people like, who do you work for and what do you do exactly? Because I, I did my research on you. I see you in there. I see you. I see you. You thought I was I an influencer. You. I was like, I was, no, I'm a like, designer. No, no, no. I was like, what do you want to be called for? Is it influencer? Is it she does sketches? She does this. Yeah. She does that. I'm like, what do you want to go by? Like, you're one of person of many talents. Aww, She's like, I don't want to go by influencer. Okay. I was like, I don't want to go by fashion design. I was like, all right, all right, respect. Because I am. I am. I'm a, I'm a fashion designer first and foremost. That's my craft. That's my passion. I've always done it since I was younger. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I was from here in L.A., but I grew up in Chicago. Like, obviously moved back here because the fashion industry is, like, huge. Mm-hmm. You know? Of course. So, like, you know, I went to college and everything. My first job I landed off was actually with Melissa McCarthy for her Ooh, brand. Yeah, so wow. my first celebrity that I nice. worked with. It was just like off the bat, a bunch of like different connections in LA. And, you know, one thing led to me another. It just, my portfolio and my career is like, you know, skyrocket. I think it's like all about the hustle. You know what I mean? It is about the hustle. You have to, especially in LA. Yeah. Because like literally like that one quote from that, that Ashton Kutcher movie, when he's just like thirty thousand people like come here to do the same job. And, like, You're talking about that movie where he's like a was bad it? boy or whatever. Yeah, I know what you're talking like, about. Kind of like a playboy. What, <laughs> what is that? I love that movie. I think it's so underrated. Yeah, it, but the quote is so true though. The, you know? it, it, I'll dig for it. I'll dig for it. Hold yeah, on. he had a couple good quotes in that he, movie. It's true. It's, it's very true. He was like the true. pretty boy who was like to sugar up- mama. Yeah, I, guess, like, yeah, I got you. I watch my movies. I know what I'm talking about. So, hold on. So, how did you end up with Melissa McCarty? Did you just apply for the job and you just ended up um, working for her company? Yeah, well, so it took me actually like a year after I graduated. You know, it was so hard because it's so competitive in the field. Mm-hmm. I actually had an agent during that time. Look at you. Was like, I was okay. like, yeah, I'm a jack of all trades I- during that time. She was like trying to push me doing all the things. I'm like, no, I'm a designer. I'm not doing these I things. have a fully <laughs> loaded deck of team over here, but I don't have an agent yet. I need to get on that. I need to get on that. They, they're all right. They're right. A they're, little pushy. They, they take too much money, but they are. Yeah. <laughs> like she they're. did. Yeah. She did. Yeah. For landing that job, I was like, bye afterwards. <laughs> when did you make the move to um to LA? How old were you? Um, I was just like 20. Yeah, that was okay. a lot long. So I was oh, like young. 20. That was probably 10, 11 years ago. Were you ago. scared? No. LA is a big city. No. I mean... Well, he came from Chicago. It's not a small pound either. So. It, yeah, but also at the same time, it's like when you have that business mindset and you're a go-getter, mm-hmm. you're like, I'm here. I'm going to do it. I have my goals. I need to achieve it. You got to go get it. You know what I mean? So it's like everything else is just kind of phased out because you're like, I'm like targeted in like what I came here to do. I got to ask this you just know? because I know you don't ask a girl how old she is, but how old are you a 90s baby? No, I'm not 90s baby, but I could take that. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Just because, okay, because 90s babies... And very few of them where I see that hustle mentality in I a know. sense. You know what I mean? I totally know what you're saying. Yeah, mean. so I'm an 80s baby. Yeah. We have that in... I don't know if you're <laughs> I in... I look right in the cutoff, uh, okay? You, I'm in the cutoff. I'm 89. I'm 89 too! Give me What's some, girl. Give me some day up. Give me some day up. <laughs> yeah, we're vibing right there now. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, one month. One month. If you tell me the same month, I'm going to be scared. My birthday is actually in like a couple weeks. October okay. 18. I'm yeah. June, so okay. Yeah. A couple of weeks. My big birthday, girl. Yeah, Where you. are we going to? Where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> haven't gotten the invite yet. With, with this lockdown, we not much. <laughs> Not much, guys. Wait, okay. wait. Everything is opening up. Stop cheaping out. We'll, uh, we'll bring a 
<laughs> gift, I promise. The trendy husky crew will bring a gift. All right, all we right. can afford a gift. <laughs> I trust, I trust. It's like, I trust. I trust. Yeah, it's the Shy Town thing, we gotta trust. Yes, you know? that's very true. You miss it? Miss Shy Town? I do, but I mean, like, I go back there once, like, uh, every once or twice a year to visit, like, my mom and stuff. But, you know, I just, I don't know. The mindset out there is not the same. Very different. It's so conservative. I'm conservative, but at the same time, it's just more like. It's not even good conservative. I, <laughs> it's, it's I like know. I know. Chicago. It's, it's getting, okay. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and I'm from Chicago. I've been there since I was, you know, a kid. Yeah. So I grew up in that cold weather. I've done all yeah. the Gene and Jude you could do. <laughs> I've done the, the Illuminatis, the Genos East, all the yeah. places. Yeah. Trust me, I've, I've been there. Yeah. I've been there. It's the weather. Yeah. I just woke up one day and I'm like, enough is enough. <laughs> My body <laughs> can't like, take I it. I can't take one more winter. I don't have any more winters in this body anymore. Yeah. Because the winters, they destroy you yeah, over there no seriously you can't even like breathe sometimes out there it's like you're swallowing shards of glass i can count my nose hairs in the <laughs> <laughs> be like one two three no it's disgusting i know i but just, that's how bad it it's gets so real though it's so and your face is always blue feel yeah. like somebody smacked the shit out of you yeah. every time seriously. it's it's a it's it's a mission getting to work and again getting back home after yes work. You have to like have like automatic starter in your car. Be I had to have one of those things because literally, it, like, oh my gosh, when I was younger, I had no idea that you had to like start your car yep. to like break the ice from like yep. the window. So I, I was one of those kids that was like, oh, why won't you just pour hot water on there? Oh, <laughs> oh no! Don't do that, at home don't kids. Don't do that. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> please. If you just turned seventeen, <laughs> well, not only yeah, we'll definitely crack the hell out of it. It's yeah. again a little bit of science, yeah. you know, cold and hot. What yeah, happens? I you did. know. What Really past science, obviously. Uh, <laughs> right over here, chill. All right, so we have more in common. There we go. <laughs> but it is the thing with Chicago. It's not only that. It's it's not only. That. By the way, it's not a winner if you don't get your car out of the ditch in the winter. Yes. At least like a hundred times. Yes. You know what I mean? You gotta like keep pushing the car back and forth. Yeah. But, but, but most of the time you're by yourself. Yeah. Well, you're a pretty girl. Maybe you had it a little different. Yeah. But me. <laughs> I was like, all by yeah, myself. I was, I was doing that myself, <laughs> was too, like, though. Doing a rock on my baby kind of song, you know? <laughs> you also, it's not winter either if you don't, like, slip on some black ice. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> like, and they're like, oh, my God, it's so bad calling it black ice. It, it's it's black ice. I don't know what else to call what it. What do you it's, mean? I don't know. Some, my, some of my friends were trying to give me, like, shit about it they're like what do it's, you mean it's, well from californians they don't yeah. know what black ice is but that's what it's called and usually it's on like the pavement you can't see it because this pavement is black it's exactly not, it's not racist yeah, people it's not. by the way yeah okay and I'm asian so <laughs> and i'm half african so exactly no racism it's in no here racism. at all whatever we say yeah, nothing nothing move on <laughs> wait you're from so you're half vietnamese French as well in there? My dad's side is like really mixed into there, yeah. Any French at all? Do you speak any French? I do not. Wait, what? I know. I can speak Vietnamese though, so at least All right, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> all right, that's that. Hey, have you been? Yes, to Vietnam. That's one place I want to try oh really Oh my gosh, bad. seriously. I you guys both have to go. It's, it's so beautiful. Amazing it's so over there. So beautiful. We're, I was just looking over right now at like uh, Airbnb and like this literally. Like, they have Airbnb there too. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, there's like multi-million dollar houses that are like literally hundred bucks a night. Dude, that sounds like my trip to Tijuana. It's crazy. I went to TJ and I got like a beachfront beautiful spot for like hundred twenty bucks, and Isn't I'm like, great? I'm gonna be in TJ all the time now. <laughs> yeah, because you're not gonna come back. <laughs> it's like I'm always coming back now. It's like literally. So so. I've never been to TJ before. Yeah. And I was kind of like always scared to go because everybody yeah. tries to scare the shit out of I know. you. Yeah, I've never they, gone. Because they can't do it. It's like, oh my God, go to TJ. It's the worst place ever. Yeah, like, I went to TJ. Back? I had the yeah. best 24 hours of my life. Oh, you only went for 24 hours? That's it. That's, That's all awesome. you need. I That's literally, I was just so distressed. <laughs> I just came back a new man. I was like, this is beautiful. I got a nice Airbnb. <laughs> had some fun with my buddies. Yeah. It was a beautiful place to visit. We stayed in La Playa's. We partied in Rosarito. Yeah. We, we played soccer at like 5 a.m. in the morning nice. in the mid, middle of... We were just drunk. We found some guys playing soccer. Like, yeah, we'll play soccer. 
This is a good idea. This is a good idea. Let's go play soccer at five in the morning. Play soccer. <laughs> Who cares? You exactly. Know? Who cares? So, what is one place that you really want to visit? You've been to Vietnam. Have you been to other spots, or like, yeah. you gunning for something else? I'm right now. I mean, like I'm gunning for definitely my top spot is like Italy, Rome, like mm, Milan. I've been just there. Just, you have, spot, oh, man. dude. The history. Oh my gosh, it just is inspiring. Not only that, um, the food. Yeah. It's 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 ridiculous. I can't even imagine. So listen to this. I used to go to Jewel. Back in Chicago, I'm like, yeah, oh, I'm like Jewel. Oh my god, he's like Jewel. Oh my god, did you say Jewel? Yeah, he's not talking about the artist Jewel. Exactly. Like. <laughs> no, no, we're not talking we're about. Not talking about her. We're not talking about the vape. So yeah. Jewel and Albertson are, are all exactly. They're owned by the same people, Albertsons and Jewel. Yeah. And uh, I used to go to Jewel and pick up a lasagna from there and enjoy the shit out of it. You know what I mean? It's like close my mouth and eat it slow motion and think like I'm in Italy. You know what I mean? I went to Italy and they were like, mm -mm, that's garbage. Yeah. That's bullshit. And I had the real lasagna and that fucked every lasagna I ever of had course. in my life. Yeah. And I was like, that's done. Yeah. That's, you can't have frozen lasagna yeah. no more. Now when I taste a lasagna like that, I become like a Gordon Ramsay. And I'm like, mm, I don't know if he's just... I don't know, ricotta and lasagna. I don't just, yeah. I be, my, it's, my inner Italian just comes out of nowhere. Yeah. You know, I'm just like, <laughs> boom, boom, just like, It makes sense, though. So how can you revert back to something like after you tasting the true, purest way it's supposed to be made? I have, you know? I have, I have something I want to say, but I'll keep it for after the show. When you try the real thing, how could you go to the fake? Exactly. You know I mean? like, exactly. Like, it's just Olive Garden. That's the McDonald's. <laughs> over there, I love you know? Olive Garden. Oh are God. they a sponsor? Are they a sponsor? No, All right, no. so fuck Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> like McDonald's. You can it. sponsor me still in Olive Garden if you choose to. Hey, if you sponsor me, my words will change yeah. right away. By the hey. way. But you if can... you're there, you're family. Exactly. <laughs> Post Malone actually owns that quote now because he loves that. He loves that place. Post Malone. There you hey, go. What's up? Shout out. Hey, hey. <laughs> Hey, Post Malone, hey, what's up? My birthday's coming up. <laughs> Olive Garden. Send me a DM. Olive Garden, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, this is, this is fun. All right, so getting back to the... We get serious from time to okay. time. Okay. So, so when did you feel that you've become um, an Instagram influencer? When did that come about? <laughs> Feel it. I was you like, don't? I don't either. No, you it's have weird. your you have your little army. I see them commenting and like it. I'm By the way, you need to uh, follow me because I will follow you after the show. Uh, of so course, okay. You need to okay. follow back. You need to you send some me, love. me on the spot. Yeah, right I have now. to. I have to. <laughs> That's what I do. You came in by yourself over here. Did I? No. So we have to point the gun right now yeah. and just call you out. <laughs> so, so when did you feel like okay, this is going somewhere? It's so funny you say that because I still to this day I don't feel like it. It I am, and when I hear it, it kind of like weirds me out a little bit because right. I just think it's like the norm with like with mm -hmm. social media I see as a business aspect. Yeah. So um, I'll, actually, a lot of my followings came from like previous people I've worked with, mm -hmm. and like my ex-boyfriends were like all that's like my friends. Ex, that's a lot of ex-boyfriends. No, I mean like my I one ex-boyfriend. She ex has over twenty-seven thousand <laughs> freaking <laughs> followers. I'm single right now. How guys, many ex-boyfriends? <laughs> No, dude, twenty seven thousand. Come like, on, you know, in the industry, when you have a lot of friends that are just hustling, just like you, you okay, know, okay, like the okay. whole scene, like okay. the Warp Tour scene, they, they have fans that would follow you, and I'm just like, then they start liking you for your work, and then they're like, you're inspiring. And, and you then take just, dope ass pictures too, by the way. Oh, thank you. You do. You really do. I love thank your you. pictures. Very I'm inspiring. Sweating right now, so I'm sorry <laughs> if I don't look like my pictures right now. <laughs> hey, hey. It gets hot in the studio from time to time, but it's okay. <laughs> she, I called her out. She got to call me out. It's just how it works. It's just how it works. The fat is going to make the noise with the mic, so we got to do what you got to do. All right? oh, we'll, we'll move to a bigger stop. studio eventually. No, this is great. I like that. Yeah, this is like an awesome setup. Seriously, thank you, you for like reaching it. out. No, absolutely. My pleasure. Of course. I was very happy you reached back out. You're like, I'm coming. So it's actually our pleasure to have you here. Yeah. But going back to the question, because we didn't get an answer, because <laughs> you can't really <laughs> dodge me. Can't, I was trying to swear. Can't sorry. dodge the husky man, can you? All right. So does it feel different? All right, let me let me ask you a different one. Does it feel different with all the love that you get in Instagram? Does it? Because a lot of people will get it like over their head. They get a little conky, this and yeah. that. Does it get overwhelming from time to time? Um, I mean, I don't, I don't. 
it doesn't with me. I think I, what I strive to do is mm-hmm. try to inspire like the younger generation, to mm-hmm. be honest. Yep. And my following is actually half half, which is like very rare. Cause yep. Usually girls in like that field, it's like a bunch of guys following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I actually have like the analytics like showing me that I have like a lot of women following me too. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when I was younger, it's like I had to deal with a lot of things that, you know, I didn't see anybody like older than me to influence me in a positive way. Yep. And in a lot of ways, you know, um, like as a woman, how you look, you know, what are you trying to be a go getter? You know, li- liking sports. You know what I mean? Like that's what I like. Try. You gotta look a certain yeah. way. You gotta be this way. You gotta be that uh, way. I get it. I get it. And you're n- don't care about any of that shit. You're being you, yes. which is great. And you're inspiring more people with that. And like you said, you have girls, you have guys. Yeah, yeah of course, the 10% that are creeps, they're just looking. <laughs> yeah. Like, mm. Oh, the, my gosh. I just like, oh, you don't even want to know. Dude, I started like a tab of like sli- IDM slide-ins. How many guys are using uh, Instagram like Tinder nowadays? <laughs> I don't know. Like, how, how, did I, how did I find it? I didn't swipe right on this one. Like, what, what I fuck? tried. I tried those apps and I can't, like, I never met up with anybody. Really? But it's, like, creepy. Because, like, I'm so, Wait, I'm an old soul. You've never done Tinder or Bumble? I have. I've never oh, been, like. You scared me. Yeah. No. Because I, I was going to be like, we're going to do a special in your Instagram. <laughs> we're going to do, like, a no, swipe. Right. We'll meet no. up with the crew. I'll get my camera I crew. Tried. And we'll do those creepy <laughs> dates. You know what I mean? Like. You know, just in the like bag. a catfish one. We should. <laughs> you can sit behind her in like a wig and glasses and yeah, just yeah, yeah. watch. Yeah, I'll, and I'll, sure I'll get you a little thing sure in nothing your happens. Ear. Yeah, or like you guys can, or he can just go and be me. Just be like, this wait, is wait, me. This wait, is, I'm hold Fauci. on, hold on. Oh, come on. <laughs> and I'm the one behind him with the glasses to watch him. It's like ho- Photoshop works miracles. Wait, yeah, did we just start a whole project right away? It was like, damn, it's like you can be me. We can just catfish people. Yeah, that's, that'd be great. I'm the one who's going to get punched in the face. No, you know let, let's I mean? do it like, with the premium creepers. content. Premium content. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, only for, for like premium we'll people. We'll start that's a Patreon it. just for that. Oh that's my it. gosh, that'll be amazing. That's actually a fun that'd Patreon to start. There you go. Yeah, we can create like a punk show going ideas. on. You don't need to get high to find good ideas, people. You could find a good idea just finding good people. There you go. There you go. I'm a goof, you know. I know oh. you, I, I don't portray that too much on my Instagram, but people that know me, I'm like super All of us goofy. Are, though. I feel like okay, so that's that's a Chicago one thing. I feel like I feel kind like of, we yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Like because of all the cold and we can't go out most of the year, you know, we can't just be like, hey Alex, what's up, buddy? Let's go to the bar and grab some drinks. No, we're fucking freezing inside the house, so all we have left is our humor. That's it. If you take that away, man. our soul is gone. <laughs> <What>? Gone. <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> getting serious again. Getting serious it's again. It's not gonna get serious. It's not. I'm it's never, never serious, gonna get like, serious. All right, all right. I'm um, serious. <laughs> do you ever deal with any bullies at all online? Yes. Let's talk about that. Yes. Let's go about that. Um, Them mofos. Let's go. After I kind of. I'm like afraid to even talk about this because, like, <sighs> so my longest like relationship. Um, he's still one of my best friends, you know. Um, so he was in a band, and it's the first time I've ever dealt with cyberbullying. Um, it was really traumatic time in my early twenties. Mm-hmm. Uh, they made like a Tumblr bashing me, and it was just like, yeah. Wow, I, I they went harassed. the extra step. They said some really gnarly things like to me that I didn't know how to comprehend because I've never dated somebody in the line life before. Uh-huh. And um, you know, one thing happened to another. I was being called names, and it was just like I was in college still, so it was kind of like getting to me, like you know, mentally. Um, but like I had a great support system of my family, my boyfriend during that time, he had like my back, he like to call off his fans. It was just very like, um, I just, I can't, I couldn't, like I said, I couldn't comprehend where these girls are getting like these kind of mindsets to say right. these things. Like they're very awful, nasty right. things. And it's like, you've never met me before. And it's Why? crazy. Yeah. It's yep. like, you've never met yep. me before yep. and yet you're attacking me. Like I haven't even had a Twitter since then. You know, Damn. I like deleted Twitter. I've never used Twitter since I was like probably for eight years now because of that. You and know something funny? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have, to, I, I, we have Twitter for the show. I yeah. don't use it. My team uses it. I don't use Twitter. I don't, I'm not a big fan of it. Yeah. I'm barely got, again, this is, this show's my 31 years old. I'm a Facebook guy. <laughs> like even Instagram, <laughs> I've had to like shove it down my throat you right now. You have to though. What you, you do, you have, you have to. to be part of, it's your business. It is. You have no, to. that's why yeah. I, I accepted the Instagram part. <laughs> 
Twitter. No way. Yeah, with me Twitter. too. I'm, I'm not like, going to go back to yeah. Twitter either. It's like, no, no, no. I'll, I'll be in Twitter if it is like more. We just started posting on Twitter again yeah. just with the shows and stuff. But yeah. it gets creepy over there. Sometimes and people calling out each other. So it feels like high school all yes. over again, doesn't it? And it was during it, like the prime time too when Twitter was like blowing up even before Instagram was like a thing. It's just I couldn't I couldn't wrap my head around like how people can like be raised like that. You know what I mean? So that's why I use my Instagram and I try my best that I can to inspire like women empowerment, men empowerment, like together as one, not just one female male thing. It's more of like, you know, if someone's doing their thing, going on their grind, like support them. You know what I mean? Be I happy that. for that. You know, I freaking love that. So is that the mission now? Standing up for others that can have been in the yeah, same place. Absolutely. That guy that's always been my my strive, even since I was like younger. Has anyone ever reached out and be like, Hey, <laughs> I'm dealing with this? Has no seriously. Yes. Do, does do yes. they? Okay. It's like I had some gnarly stories. Like I, I'm not surprised. I had like some It gets girl, weird online. It get, gets so weird. Like some girl like told me that she like woke up out of a coma for like three months Stop and like it. reading my post that I like inspired. I swear to gosh, Shut I, up. I was like, I didn't know how, like what to say. You know I'm what not mean? surprised, like, but like, I'm just, was, it's nice that people actually yeah. reach <laughs> out. It's just you certain things like that that are serious because I'm empathetic. Like I was like tearing up because like there's certain things where like I've even had girls like reach out to me, be like had depression. Like, yep. You know, it's so sad, like suicidal thoughts. Like I definitely had to drop like the suicide like line to help these younger generations because I feel like they're for they're more emotional mm -hmm. in a way. And like we have to like push it out there that a lot of these things are just words. You know what I mean? Like people forget that. Yep. And then it's like if you let someone affect you in that way with their words, you're giving them power over you. I agree. You know what I mean? Like yep. Eleanor Roosevelt said, too, if that will pretty famous quote, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. You know? I completely agree with that because a lot of people will bash you just because they can't do something. Yeah. But you know I, what I mean? But when you say that, it's weird because like people are like, Oh, you know, you're like a narcissist or like you're, you think I'm all a that. And you I've know seen I mean? your post. Yeah. I don't see anything narcissistic from it. And I'm being serious, like, not just because you're a guest here. If I would have seen <laughs> anything narcissist, I would have stayed away from this subject. Oh, and I'm yeah. being that serious. So I didn't see anything narcissist. But it's like when you stand up for yourself, when you say certain things like that. Yeah, but know, that's not like, narcissist. You. I know that. You're standing up for yourself. I, because you and I are like, we understand we the have, same right. wavelength. We I got understand you. that. But whatever we put online, it's how people perceive it. And it's like, that's not my intention mm -hmm. but if you are reading it that way like yeah. this, it's out of my hands that's not what i was trying to intend you know what i mean yeah, i definitely know what you mean do you <sighs> wish you would go back to because again we probably graduated the same year in high school <laughs> do you wish going back to like the myspace days oh my god no wait, no wait i don't I think it's a bad school. idea oh you did i, I was so bullied in high why school did too, everyone but, hate high school i hate high school she, a beautiful ollie hated high school no, you yeah, I hated high school. I you've, never hated you've told me before. You no, I said it was school. boring. Nothing crazy ever happened because there was like four thousand kids in my high school. I went to Lane uh, Tech, so there was like a bunch of kids. Oh no way! Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, oh where did gosh. you go to school? Well, I went to two high schools. I went to Glenbar North in Girls Stream, and then I went to Huntley and Huntley. Oh, which that's is yeah, that's a hike. I went to <laughs> Hersey High School in Arlington okay. Heights. So yeah, yeah. we were yeah. kind of in the yeah. same direction. I actually know all your schools. So did you? Just you? Said that, yeah. I graduated from BG, so I went to two high schools as well. So I did freshman, sophomore, junior. In Hersey, and uh, oh, last nice. year I did it in Buffalo Grove. Oh my gosh! So yeah, I had fun in BJ. <laughs> I had a lot oh, of fun no. in BJ. <laughs> yes, yeah, because it's like nowhere, nobody's around. <laughs> oh, in BJ? Yeah, I feel it's like. a very diverse yeah. um, high school. Yeah. If you like Asians, there's a Asian My high over school is there. not filled with that. There is, if you like your Eastern <laughs> Europeans, you got all the Eastern Europeans standing over there. If you like your white girls, your black girl, nice. you got everything in there. Hersey, it was. 93% white kids, 7% others. Same. Like others meaning like black, uh, Middle Eastern, yeah, Mexicans. Asians, what, yeah. It was 93% white. Yeah, same. It was just like super <laughs> one-sided. You can't, if you, if uh, you want, you can't have peanut butter and jelly. Just peanut butter yeah. or jelly. Ooh. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my school is like the United Nations. It's like a bajillion it's like kids. I know everything thing. there. You guys had a great school. Lane Tech was like, I heard it was a really great school. It's not a great school. I mean, they, Compared to like, <gasps> I don't know. I'm, jealous. It's okay. Why am I? Because they test kids. They you put gotta be smart to go there. <laughs> put them under all that crap pressure like yeah you gotta be good oh, enough oh no, yeah it was major pressure because like they rank you on your report card and you'd always be like 
Who's group? Well, damn, I'm in, like towards the middle, but like the top one percent of kids, it's they're off the charts. Yeah, because there's like four thousand kids. There was like a thousand two hundred kids in just. To me, here's the thing. Going back to this, a kid needs to be a kid. Yeah. You're in high school. I hate how the systems are being played in this country. Yeah. You're gonna fuck up between. 13 and 18 or 14 and 18. <laughs> this is what you do during those four years. You fuck up. You learn. You're like on the way to become a man or a woman or whatever. Yeah. You know, you know, you can't be perfect. If I don't get all A's, oh my God, remember those girls? That just because they get one B plus, they start freaking out and they're crying <laughs> and they had a funeral in the hall. And I'm like, hey, community college with me, girl. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with community college. Either, I did okay? community. That's uh, for yeah. a couple of years. Nothing wrong with yeah. it. Yeah. You know, yeah. Harper. I, I went Harper. to Harper too. There you go. All right, yeah, girl. There you go. <laughs> For a couple before I went there to Otis go. out here. There Otis. you go. You know, Harper. The right college was all right. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, I mean, I didn't have to be there, to be honest, because none of my credits transferred out here. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just saying, it, nothing wrong with community college. It's true. It's a You smart save way to yourself do it. a bunch of money. And that's a, exactly true. You do. You really do. You save yourself. Yeah. And by the way, no one gives a fuck where you went your first two years. It's true. They don't. They see yeah, where you got your way. degree at. Yeah. You write it from DePaul, yeah. Loyola, uh, UIC. You see, yeah. it doesn't. That's what all they give a shit about. Yeah. So you do your two years over there. You sell yourself a mortgage, and then you go and transfer it's someone true. else. That's it. And you have, you can have fun in community yeah. college. There is a lot of cute girls and guys over there. So <laughs> just say it. Just that don't have the mommy and daddy help. You know what I mean? It's nothing oh, wrong with that. Yeah. None wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, would you ever consider moving back to Chai Town? No. Oh, that's what I keep saying. People no. keep hating on me. That's what I no. keep saying. Why? Tell them why. Well, like, I'm very career driven and it's not there for me. I <laughs> yeah. can't. Chicago's a killer driven no. kind of career. So. No, no fashion there. You know, if I have None. to move, like if I have to sacrifice myself for another cold state, it has to be New York, obviously. Oof. But I mean. Would you? I just want to make the move over in the Europe, to be honest. That would be a good move for you. Yeah. Yeah. So. Italy, France. Yeah. yeah. That'd be way better than. She's like, George. yeah. It's like her eyes just like went sparkling. It's like, yeah, yeah. Could, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> like, my, wait, my, all my the... friends are just like, yeah, you gotta. They believe in me and support and me you're so much. Single? Yeah, that's what they were saying. You They're like, have... move over there and have English babies. <laughs> all I can say is, ooh la la. I don't, mm, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> I think mixed babies are so beautiful, okay? So. That's very true. Mm -hmm. I got to give you that. I got to give you that. Um, you're going to miss the NFL, though. They don't have NFL over there. Well, they have They're the trying one. They're to. They had, they had it like a couple right, games fine. last season over in, in England, London. Or yeah, London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have the couple of games. Yeah. Then he, I mean, it's not bad traveling from one city to another, I guess, yeah. over there. You know, it's fun. But it's just, yeah, it's not going to be the same vibe. Like... I'm not saying it's impossible to find, but you really have to dig deep to find yeah. the one bar that plays the NFL games. and You know what I mean? Yeah. And just watching just... football games by yeah. yourself. I do it all the time sometimes. I'm just like... And you got Jacques behind you be like, what are you doing over there? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm watching Jacques. football. He's like, wait, what? Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh! My, is that my future husband's name? Jacques? I don't know, but it could be—it could be a snack, it could be a husband. We don't judge over <laughs> here. It's—it's it's completely okay. We believe in snacks in this show as oh. well. It's, like, it's okay, oh, you're in my game. This they, is about to be online. It's okay to have a couple of snacks, you know. Drake was Beyonce. Uh, no, not Beyonce. It was uh, Beyonce. Serena Williams' snack oh, before yeah. she got married. You know, she called him a snack. I'm not the one who made it. She called Drake a snack. There you go. He's um, pushing on it. He's pushing on it. The snacks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I'd say Drake is actually the perfect word for a snack. How do you take Drake seriously, though? But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't. Could it be wrong? I don't know. What do you miss the most about Chicago? Is it the hot dogs? Is it um, the pizza? Do you like the, the deep dish? I don't like the deep dish. All right. See? There you go. Give me, like some. Give me some. Give me some. Give me some. All right. You, you don't. You can't. What no. is wrong with you no, people? No. No. I, I, I knew she was about to go out. It's because she was born in uh, California, like you yeah. said. And it's because you weren't originally from Chicago. I was born and raised. If you say you don't like deep dish. I listen, like the thin crust. The ones I cut in the square. Listen. We don't mind ga gaining less, some weight around. We really don't. It you could, need it to we could survive the winter. We could make it sexy. It's all good. Yeah. It's fine. I got the quarantine 15 going on. There you go. We got. I'm 
15, I got the 20 going, but it's okay. <laughs> That's completely fine. 15 is all right. <laughs> 15 is all right. Oh, but uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. John Stewart said it best. I don't want to freaking eat a pizza where I'm going to might be drowning in it the next morning. Like if I get drunk, I want to make sure. one piece. It's called self control it's, dude you, all you need is I one and there's it's actually, only so much i know and, and luma Mati's is really good cold believe it or not like the next day cold and i love oh. cheese oh. I love there's Luminati's only though. so much yeah. cheese i could yeah. take there's only so much cheese i could take that's a lot. all the people from there's chicago are screaming at the screen no, that's not, not true it's that's really not greasy how dare you i have asked so many i actually took a poll on this with real really? chicago okay too. i like that it literally it they're all like, fakers it's, <laughs> it's like all fakers <laughs> like all fakers they're all phonies it's, yeah a lot of people like the thin crust with like, like i was saying too the squares thin cuts ones yeah. i like that's a chicago yeah. thing too. or the new york style the one you can fold that's yeah. the best i can yes. do sure yeah. i'll do that or the yeah. the, the square ones i just threw up a little in my mouth <laughs> Dude, like, I'm an emission when I eat that pizza. I know. I'm like, oh, man. And you, you literally, I don't mind getting a few pounds and losing them. and whatever, But that one, you feel it the next morning. You Your do. sides hurt. You do. You know, you feel the feel cheese like moving around. It's like, I'm over here to stay, baby. I'm not going anywhere. Like, no chance in hell. I'm just saying, so much shit in one's life. Yeah. So much. That's yeah. why lose is the best. Because they don't put so much shit in one no, slice. No. That's a good ratio. Have you ever had Luminati's yes, over there? Yes, I have. Dude, I that's like. a addiction hot dog. Yeah. That is an I addiction. I love Portillo's back there. Oh, we have one here. I know, I know, but then they, I thought they had... No, it's the same. I it's thought the same. It's they the same. had the um, Bernelli's, but they don't have Bernelli's in there. What's Bernelli's? It's like a, it's always like together with like Portillo's. It's like the almost oh, like the, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. pasta salad like kind yeah. of part. Well, yeah. Portillo's is known for the hot dogs, they are the beef, cheeseburgers, and the beef, the yeah, beef, the beef yes, yeah, and, the beef, and, yeah. and the chocolate cake or yeah. whatever, right? So yeah. then they have yeah. all of those. Same thing. I don't know. I'm just. Ugh. She's like, I don't the know. Line's it's, always I'm not, I'm not it, freezing cold. It does not feel the same. <laughs> as I gotta say about that. He's about busting out his Valley Girl talk right now. <laughs> yeah, no, that's uh, Beverly Hills' <laughs> good voice. Please know yourself, okay? Please check yourself, okay? Laguna or Malibu? I always oh. have this argument. Yeah, Laguna. Thank. Oh my All God! Day. All day. I cannot stand Malibu. I'm going Malibu. to her birthday. <laughs> I'm going to her birthday. Right, I'm bringing right. a big gift, too. Oh. Yep, I like this girl. I really do. I'm a big Laguna guy. I love Laguna. I love the vibe out here. It's I do. Just the Quiet. environment is different, too. And you actually can find parking. And unlike yeah. Road. And people are not just walking around looking down like in here. Like, the we, yeah. they have uppity yeah. assholes over there in Laguna. Yeah. But they're classy uppity <laughs> assholes. You know what I mean? It's not like Laguna. Like, I'm sorry, Malibu, they walk around like... Like our shit doesn't stink, and we're gonna rub it in your face. But Orange County does have that still in the air. I mean, it's Orange County. We we, it's, in, you know you what? Know? It's bad. It's here in HB where you and I are. Yeah. You know, it's really bad here in Huntington Beach. I mean, it's bad because it's a tourist area. Like mm. literally, everyone from every walk of yeah. the planet comes yeah. to our city, yeah. Surf City, and it's yeah. like ridiculous. Yeah, I was telling my friends like they do the uh, World Cup of Surfing here every year. It's actually yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. And when there is not COVID around, Huntington Beach gets it's packing. busy. It's crazy. Whew, it gets busy for like two months, yeah, right? Yeah, it's like that. crazy. Yeah, it, it, it gets crazy. And the U.S. Open is being played yeah. at the same time as well. Uh, not in not yeah. in California, but everyone is like in the bars watching the U.S. Open. Yeah. And they're outside of the beach. It gets, yeah, you cannot go a mile. It'll take you like 30 minutes to get through every mile. Yeah, and park super far. Ugh. Yep. Oh, yeah. Cubbies, White Sox. <laughs> White Sox. <gasps> I know. Girl, your <laughs> gift just got so much smaller <laughs> by like a whole lot. Sorry, Holy White shit. Sox. Wait, up you're from White the Sox. South Side? I'm What's not, going on? I'm not. I've always just grew up with the White Sox in my family. I don't even know. It's just, it just came about. I don't right, know. You like the hat too much. Yeah. Is yeah, that what it I'm is? I'm always about right. black and white, guys. All right, all right, all right. Black and white. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's not an excuse. <laughs> I like the colors. She really likes but, her uh, mixed what about, babies. What about the vibe at <laughs> Wrigley, though? I got you. Wrigley is sick. Love yes, Wrigley. Yeah. If you want to party and go to a great game, you go to Wrigley. Mm -hmm. That's not, like hands down. I That's agree. For sure. uh, Wrigley feels where it's at. Yeah. Can't say the same thing about whatever the Sox playing. <laughs> whatever. Just, have you guys? Have you guys actually same. went to a Crosstown Classic? 
Uh, I think, yeah, once. I yeah, haven't I gone. So. I really yeah, want to go. So. I th- have you ever been to a Blackhawks game, too? Oh, I've been to tons of Blackhawks games. Yeah. I, I love Blackhawks. I Black enjoy Hawks. them. I enjoy them. I love them when they were at their when they were at their prime. They had that mini dynasty. Yeah, yeah. I was, was over fun. here repping all like, oh, the you? hardcore talking like smack to a lot of LA Kings fans. I'm telling you that right yeah. now. Yeah, we getting them shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude, we put the yeah. smacking on their ass though. <laughs> Yeah, we I enjoyed every single bit of those series, but we were good. We, we were uh, so yeah, good. we were so good. We I mean, Kane and Taze were amazing. I had the hugest crush yeah. on Taze, and I was like, Kane was a bad boy, he, though. You he know, what I mean? was like sick. always in the news yeah. doing something crazy. But still, he was like, he was a sick hockey player. He was just kind of like, yeah. whatever. What, what is Kane? Is he Canadian or right? Something I, th- like that? I don't think so. Taze is Canadian, but I don't think Kane is. Okay. Kane's from the U.S. I think. Okay, just old boring American. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> All right. Um, if we ask you right now, where you want to be in 10 years from now? What's the goal? We heard you are up in there, cool. But <laughs> career-wise, where do you want to be? For sure, for sure. I want to end up with my own brand. And especially everybody's been like cheering me you. on okay. and telling me like I should start this five years ago and this and that. I'm like, guys, just take it easy. I will, I will get there. I will have my own brand. That's like my one of my end goals, one of them in 10 years. And hopefully I have like a family and kids by then too, though. Okay. All right. <laughs> I want I want kids. So. Does, does Trendy Husky have a job in your building? <laughs> do, do we get to? Yes. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Let's Come go. On. The That's empire it. starts now. I'm done. Build the empire. I'm going to retire right now already. I already got the job. Done. He's Good my new for, manager, guys. For, yeah, there you go. There you go. You heard it from the lady. That's <laughs> I have like three people who are just like, I'll be your manager. One of them is my mom. I'm like, no. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no, for sure. <laughs> it's like, no. Yeah, you never want to do that. Family and management. Oh, Who did gosh. that? Britney Spears, right? Uh, Britney Spears, Beyonce for oh, a yeah. long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, obviously the Kardashians. Yeah, the Kardashians. But they, they're killing it. Kardashians killing it. So, I mean, I can't really Well, they complain. say the devil works hard, but Kris Jenner works harder. Yeah. She's an amazing mom. I, if I want a momager, I'd really There's a bunch. That. There's a bunch, yeah. yeah. Can't really hate Kris Jenner, though. No. She has built an empire. She has. She's incredible. It's I mean, Kris Jenner. I think she's very talented at what she does. They're very charismatic. Because, like, if their show was boring, no one would watch. To be honest. Like, if it was boring, nobody what would watch. What is this show about? Them. What do you learn? When you sit lives. down and it's watch pe- a people, show of theirs, like what do you wa- learn? People like to watch s- people that live differently from them. Because if I'm watching people who live exactly like me, that's going to get boring. Yeah, it's kind of like taking it out of you like always reality. S- that's like the whole thing. Like, people have been obsessed with famous and rich people forever. Yeah. And it's just the next generation of that. Okay. I mean, I thought they got famous from Ray J. And then it kept getting <laughs> no. bigger and bigger. I do. No. I really do. I think it only got bigger and bigger from there but i don't know might be wrong it's not really my cup of tea yeah stay away from it cool yeah. cool 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 um do you ever have you ever been to, down here to big bear i have not i've been wanting to go you've been here for this long for 11 years now yeah you never tried big bear no well i haven't but i've been only here for four <laughs> years so i really want to go <laughs> four years not 11 but yeah you should i heard it's fun yeah mostly in the winter yeah like can get a nice cabin, cabin down yeah. there and nice hot tub no. yeah it's fun i heard it's a lot a lot of fun all righty um who's your sponsors right now do you have any any right now <laughs> no i'm not want to talk about that <laughs> i was gonna let you plug them oh they're good it's good right now okay it's all, yeah we're not gonna plug anyone today <laughs> no. cool no plug-in for no one go ahead Look at your fans. Look at all the people you want to say hello to. Camera's yours, love. Oh, Take I, I your time. I don't know what to say. I mean, like. You got I... people that follow your page and love the stuff you do. You want to hear hello, you know, yeah, believe in yourself. Oh, yeah. For that sure. kind of That's, stuff. I mean, like, you know, thank you so much for all my followers that are following me and supporting me since, like, day one. And definitely, you know, I strive to empower every single person man or woman boy or girl and just be kind to one another you know and you know it's honestly we're all in this together you know like we're all walking this line of life at the end of the day we're all walking each other home like i truly believe that Mm -hmm. and i think that it should just be you know once again just all about being kind and just showing love to one another before i let you go one more question (laughs) are you gonna go back to vlogging or no because you only yeah. did a couple of I vlogs. Have so many we want to see more vlogs. I was like, oh my god. I'm gosh. calling you out right now on the spot. This is, I'm going to leave it. I got to call you out. We want more vlogs. We demand more vlogs. Oh my god. Because I, even though I haven't followed you, which I will right now. 
your fans, of which I'm one of them right now, or in two minutes. <laughs> We want more vlogs. Are you going to give us more vlogs? Yes, I will. Starting I, when? I, I'm starting soon because I need to edit because I do all my all right. own edits and right. stuff. Get your so team like me. Out. I got you. I'm, Get your I'm team. like all over the place. I'm a designer. I'm trying. Like apparently I'm like the lone wolf. You know what I mean? I no am. one is helping. I mean, yeah. But no, but I saw you a couple of vlogs. They were fun. Oh, they were thanks. fun. Uh, great vibes. That's what I love about them. <laughs> Everything was witty, cute, you know, <laughs> good stuff. Better like, than some stuff we were just talking about five minutes ago. At least I got two on a lap from your yeah. vlogs, but you should go back to vlogging. Thank you. you, you I got, will. Yeah, I will. Yeah, you should definitely give it a go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and and dude, good luck. I think you're on the right path. We'll do this sometime again. Yeah, if for you need sure. anything for us to plug whenever you're ready. Yes. And you know, let us Absolutely. know. We're family. Yeah. Oh God, you're part of the pack now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're part thank of the you. pack. Thank no, you for seriously. having me on uh, here. You guys are great vibes. Like, this is so much fun. It's so easy. We try. I love talking to people that it's, it's just because we're from organic. the Midwest. That's yeah. why we're so cool. Yeah, I guess. Cooler than <laughs> Cal- oh, yeah, bear down all day. <laughs> so, everyone in this room, and we got one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yeah. Five people all from the Midwest. Nice. Yeah, all of See? us. Yeah, literally all Best. of us from the Midwest. So. <laughs> There you go, that Midwest vibe. All right, <laughs> this one is a wrap. If you haven't, please go subscribe to our YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. And if you want to follow this beautiful fashion oh. designer, <laughs> we're going to have all her links down below in the description. Go give her a follow, a like, DM her. Not a creepy way. <laughs> no, Just, wait, <laughs> wait, not a creepy way. If you yeah. know, if, yeah, you're no, sorry. hey, hold up, hold up. Let me hold up. Go DM her in a good way. Like, hey, girl, I love what you do. Keep go doing you. Uh, you know, yeah, one day yeah. maybe we could collab or whatever. Yeah, collabs Th- all day. That kind of yeah. DM. Don't be like, hey, girl, what up? Yeah, you know no, what I mean? like, uh, yeah. Don't add to that, please. Don't, don't do that, please. <laughs> she has enough of those. It's called Tinder, people. Get your life together. So as a wrap, let's go.